Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a Shopify store from scratch, whether it's for a brand, product, or anything else. We'll go over how to choose a theme, add your own content, and customize the layout. Even if you haven't signed up for Shopify yet, don't worry, you can test it out for free for three days, and if you end up liking it, you'll only pay $1 per month for the next three months. No pressure to commit right away, and you can find that in the description below. All right, with that said, let's dive in and get started. So when you get to your Shopify dashboard, from the left side, you'll wanna click on online store and you'll be taken to the themes tab. From here, scroll down to the bottom where it says visit theme store. Feel free to check out what they have, but for this video, we will stick with the default theme. To start editing your store, click on customize, but in this case, I want you to open this up in a new tab so we can have easier access to our dashboard. On the left side, you'll notice that we have the structure of our store. The header is at the top, footer at the bottom, and then the content in between. Now, what makes Shopify so user friendly is that we can rearrange the content just by taking one of these tabs and moving them around, allowing you to organize things however and whenever you want. To customize the contents, you can either select it from the left hand side or you can click on it from the preview on the right. With that said, let's go ahead and add a different banner photo here. So, like I said, click on the contents, then you go to select up here and then transfer all of your photos into the library. Once you've chosen the picture, you can customize the banner on the left side, tweaking things like the height of the picture or positioning of the words. Speaking of words, actually, we can change the font by going to the theme settings gear and clicking typography, where you have the heading and body text. You have quite a few options, so pick something that matches your store's vibe. Just make sure to click select down here so it applies your changes. And while we're here, let's click on the logo tab and change that. You can do it the same way we transferred our photos over. However, to customize our main menu, we have to click on the header here and we can change our logo position as well as the color scheme, which includes things like the background, text, and other details. This method applies to every part of the site, so you can click anywhere and you will find the options to edit the same settings. Now, to add more sections, you can click on Add Sections from the left. Something you'll need to add is a collection list, since I'm gonna show you how to make them once we add our products. Before we do that though, we're just gonna place this section above the featured products. So grab the tab from the left and place it above the other section. As for the products, well, head back to the dashboard. From the left, you'll see the products tab. And once this pops up, simply click on add products. Now, the first thing you wanna do is name your product, then give it a description and add a photo. For the pricing, you'll notice two options. The pricing itself is the price you're listing the item at, and the compare price is something that you'd update if you have a sale. It's what the previous price would be. And lastly, the variants are things like the sizes, colors, materials, and things of the sort. Once you're done adding your products, go to the collections tab, head to the top right to create collection. Again, name it, but this time it's not necessary to add a description. We can either add our products manually or have the items automatically assigned to our collections. For the sake of this video, I'll show you how to do it manually. So just go down to browse and add all the products you want for this collection. Now we can head back to the site and integrate those collections, which is super easy. All you do is select the block and choose the collection. You'll also notice our featured product section has been updated to include the items we added. That being said, we can now add things to our main menu because we have those collections now. So for that, we need to head back to the dashboard and click on contents, menus, and here you'll find both our header and footer menus. If you want to add another, just go to the top right and click on create. In this case, we'll focus on our main menu. To add things, just go down here and of course name it. Then to link it to something, we can just click on this box, go to collections and we'll find the category we need. 
You can also rearrange these menu items just by dragging them around like this. And when you go back to the site, you'll notice that the main menu has now been updated. Now, to spice up your site's design, you can add some more sections to give context to your mission statement. For example, I add some text taking the customer to an about us page to give me more credibility. Multi columns are also a good way to blend text and images so that you can give more depth to the things you're listing. It could highlight key features that might draw a customer's interest even more. All in all, you can go wild with how you decide to customize your site. I just wanted to show you how to use the tools. The creativity part is all you. So for those of you that don't need e-commerce functionalities, I've covered pretty much that you'd really need to know in order to get started. However, if you do plan on selling things, let's make sure you can start accepting orders. To do so, go down to settings from your dashboard and go to the payments tab, then activate Shopify payments. This is the easiest way to get paid. You'll have to submit some information to them, but but once you do, Shopify will take you through the process of validating your bank info so that you can begin receiving orders. Let's also head all the way down to the policies tab. Other than shipping, every policy provides you with a template that you should edit yourself. But the reason I wanted to bring this up is because we can directly add these policies to our footer menu. All we have to do is go back to our menus tab, select the footer menu, open up this menu, and scroll to find policies. Then simply just add them to your store. Lastly, to make your store public, all you have to do is remove the password from your dashboard here and you're good to go. Granted, you will have to buy a plan to do so, meaning definitely take advantage of that deal that gets you the first three days for free and pay a dollar per month for the first three months. So feel free to take advantage of that and that will always be in the description below. And that just about wraps up today's video, ladies and gentlemen. If you have any further questions, feel free to leave them in the comments section down below. If you want an extended tutorial, you can find my half hour long video where I go into more details on all of the things that I touched upon today. Day. As always, thank you so much for watching and until next time, make sure to take care.